My name is Pike, 169. Yeah, I write Honor, Honor 1. Uh, yeah, hey, my name is Sala. Down here to uh, the South Bay, it was probably about an hour or so drive. Stopped off at Bad Habits Paint Shop. I drove down to San Pedro, hooked up with Pike and, and uh, sell out. Picked up a few cans. I, I didn't need too much because I had a whole bunch of scraps I needed to get rid of, but grabbed myself a couple of low pressure blacks for my outline, uh, keep it nice and crispy. Uh, picked up like a, you know, a white just because you always need some white on standby. And, uh, and a couple of nice uh, peach and uh, light pinky, creamy looking colors, you know, for my fills. You know, kicked it there for a bit, caught up, and then drove a uh, short distance from there to the bunkers, which is, uh, you know, this, uh, this really crazy place. Um, beautiful weather, you know, just we're so blessed in California and got to come up to this really cool spot. It's, it used to be some kind of uh, missile storage facility. really reminds me of, of the good old days in Los Angeles with the yards and, you know, Motor Yard, Belmont, you know, Woodman Yard, you know, all these, all these cool spots that we used to go and tank growing up. And, and I think it's kind of a, a lost art form. And I, I really appreciate coming down here and just, you know, getting my art up on the wall. A real popular spot for uh, graffiti. You went from the young guns that just started to uh, some of the real popular graffiti artists. Everybody comes here and uh, gets their stuff up. Today, we get my stuff up. And uh, it's got mad tunnels deep inside of it that just go back for, for I don't even know how far. I've never even been far enough back into them to, to really know, much less been in them at all. But, but there's a ton of wall space. And uh, it's, a, it's just a real chill location to come and, and, and hone your craft, hone your skills, and put some work up that hopefully will inspire other kids, other graffiti artists to, uh, you know, to come clean. I'm really intrigued by this nomadic stuff, man. Like, you know, just middle of nowhere art. You know, that turns me on like even this right here you know it doesn't have to be on a highway you know or an overpass it just for every Tom Dick and Harry to see every day you know I, I just think it's so cool when you just go where no one's gone and, and just put up something real nice and, and that's what it's all about we're a community and we just we like to look at each other's work and respect one another and, and that's that's the game for me it's a, an iconic place to paint here in Los Angeles. It's been around for decades, actually, and uh, it's just a place that is it's real chill and a lot of wall space. You know, the art world is gonna is gonna accept it more and more. Museums, institutional, because because they can't stop us. You know, we just keep going. You know, we we may work other jobs, but we we just keep doing this.